so hi everyone in this particular tutorial we would be comparing two major generative ai frameworks for retrieval from external documents that is standard rag versus the newly came concept graph rag so basically in this particular case we would be testing these two frameworks on one text data set a very small paragraph and then check out which one performs better so for that i would be using langchain completely i won't be using any other framework apart from that we are testing this out in default settings so i would uh, just to make sure that uh, the results may change if you go with a better hyperparameter tuning for the frameworks so let's get started so first of all you need to pip install langchain experimental community langchain network x google gen ai if you are using the free gemini api key that i have already mentioned in my previous videos how you can create langchain core json repair chroma db I won't be jumping into the codes because I've already explained the codes for RAG as well as for Graph RAG in quite detail. You can check out the playlist on RAG framework to understand the codes. So I'll be just giving you a brief overview. So this is the text that we're talking about. Charles Shukla, born in 1867, was a Polish and naturalist, naturalized French physicist, etc. So basically, this was the paragraph around Marie Curie and Pure Curie. So I have replaced the names Charles Shukla. And Ravi Pandey alongside Nobel Prize has been replaced by ABC Awards. This is done because the LMs were picking it from the general knowledge and they were able to answer it without using the context. Hence, to try it out completely, I have created a completely fake data set where I replace the names and mask the award name as well. Once done, we will be using the LM graph transformer as I've already explained. We'll be creating a graph rag object. So this is the code, uh, code for how you can create a graph rag object and then use a graph QHA. I'm not jumping into the codes as I've already explained. Now, if you look at the results of the knowledge graph that has been created, this looks pretty good for the graph rag. So you can see that it is able to cover almost all the text that I've mentioned. You can read it, you can pause it when I was displaying the text and you can match it out whether all the information is getting covered or not. So most of the nodes have been created correctly. I can see that. But the real challenge would be whether it is able to retrieve well or not. Now in the second half, we would be loading the same text using a text uh, .txt file. I'll be just showing it just for confirmation. Here you can see that it's the same text that I've copy pasted, nothing else. Yeah. So using the text loader, I would be loading it, doing the pre-processing as I've already explained in the previous video and using Chroma DB to store the vector embeddings created. Do remember that you need to load the vector embedding model as well from Google Generative AI. If you're using the Gemini API key, you can load it using models forward slash embedding hyphen 001. If you are using some other model, that's great. No issues. Now, once done, these are the prompts that I'm testing these two frameworks. Who was Shalini Shukla? What Ravi Pandey won? Achievements of Shalini Shukla? How Ravi Pandey and Shalini Shukla related? And who all won the ABC award? Now, basically, I'm running both the QA chains. One is a rack QA chain, other is a graph QA chain and storing the results in a data frame. As you can see, this is the prompt basic rack graph rack. Now, let's get started. We will be comparing the results one by one for both the prompts. Who was Charlie Shukla? In the results, as you can see that Charlie Shukla was a Polish and natural, naturalized French physicist and chemist who conducted fine research on radioactivity. Now, this was the answer given by the basic rag. Now, looking into the answer of the graph rag, I am assuming it to be more elaborated. As you can see, the length of the answer is better. It is more comprehensive. It is able to capture more details. You can pause and read the answer. Uh, now, moving on to the next question. What Ravi Pandey won? Basic rag was not able to make out what Ravi Pandey won because eventually, if you notice into the text, this is my assumption, I'm not very sure why it was not able to capture. It is mentioned that Ravi Pandey was the co-winner and it was not mentioned directly that he was the winner. So I think basic rag took a defeat on that point and it was not able to pick out whether Ravi Pandey was a winner or co-winner. But in case of graph rag, we are able to figure out that Ravi Pandey was the ABC award winner. So right now in the first prompt also, the results for graph rag were more comprehensive. In the second case also, graph rag was able to make out an answer for an indirect question. The third one, achievements of Charlie Shukla. Basic rag has given us some good answer here. I think it is able to fetch out four points. When the first woman to win the ABC award, first person to win the ABC award twice. Only person to win 
ab seven in two scientific fields first went to become a professor at university of paris i think even case of graph rag also the result is not that bad but i think uh, if you again compare a basic rag is more is covering a little more information than graph rag so this time i would be giving it a point so let make it 2 1 for now how ravi pande and shalini shukla related ravi pande was shalini shukla's husband graph rag is giving a one word answer spouse so i think both are tied up here so it's a 3 2 for now and who all won the abc award so this is a trick question because in the uh, in the post it was both shalini shukla and ravi pande who won it basic rag was able to figure it out but not graph rag so i think it's a three all as we come here as we have come ahead so for one of the prompt out of the five both the graph rag and basic rag were stuck it was not able to pick out what ravi pande won and graph rag was not able to pick out who all won the abc award the first question the answer by graph rag was more comprehensive but in the third answer i think uh, basic rag was better able to capture all the sense so i think what is my understanding given the use case it might be the case graph rag or base standard rag might differ given the prompt also you need to try it out but evidently the results are not that different this is my conclusion uh, you need to go for a hit and trial method and if you are going for a hit and trial method i would suggest better go with standard rag first because it is less complex and less costly graph rag can be a great add on if you are having a huge text and i think graph rag is more giving you uh, towards comprehensive answers so and with this i think we would be concluding this experiment i hope this was helpful and you choose out the better rag for your use case thank you graph rag crash course is out now which includes all the codes a theory ebook and link to the video tutorials so check out the link for the course in the description below thank